Welcome to the greatest video you have ever seen on tinted glasses. And that's not thanks to me. That is thanks to our clients because on this table, we have a multitude, a multiplicity of beautiful colors, tints, technologies that I'm gonna be showcasing for you today. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. As you're about to see, each of these glasses are perfect. And they're perfect because of the right tint that matches beautifully with the right frame. And ordering glasses in 2023 is all about the complete package, not just the frames, not just the lenses, but the two working together, as you're about to see. So I think if you're looking to cover all bases, the minimum amount of glasses that you need to begin your collection with is three. And one of those pairs for maximum versatility should be photofusion. So a photofusion lens is one that goes from clear indoors to a full sunglass outdoors and everything in between, depending on the light conditions. And so this pair, which is the limited edition hatch lens by Walter and Herbert, a beautifully classic British style that is actually effortless to wear thanks to the incredibly lightweight titanium temples with that beautiful filigree detailing that makes them look so special and feel so special as well. Naturally, we've paired this with a Photofusion Pioneer lens. So as you can see, indoors, these look just like clear glasses. Outdoors, however, when exposed to UV, we're going to get a full green tint. And when I mention green to a lot of clients, they get a little bit scared because green sounds like quite out there. But actually, green Photofusion lenses are based on the G15 color, which is actually like a gray green. It's quite a neutral, somewhat dulled green. That means that this tint is actually very wearable and simply provides a great contrast between the frame and the lens, as you can see here. G15 tints like this were originally invented for aircraft military pilots who needed two things. One, high contrast, but two, very accurate color recognition. So that's why Photofusion Pioneer is one of the most popular Photofusion colors that I recommend to clients. And this pair was for Chad. So Chad, if you're watching this, great choice. But as you guys will know, if you've been following this channel, it's not just about the tint color. It's also about the reflective color. And these lenses being Zeiss drive safe technology naturally have a blue reflection from the lens surface. So on top of the extra gray Photofusion color, which these Porsche design aviators have, you're going to see as the lens darkens that blue showing up more and more. And you can see just how different the lenses are when you're outdoors in the sun, when you're indoors out of the sun. The reason that we went for extra gray on this pair is because it provides 50% activation behind the windshield. One of the limitations of Photofusion or other photochromic technologies is that because they activate with UV, the windscreen inhibits UV and therefore they don't activate when you're driving. But Photofusion X extra gray works to about 50%. So since these are a driving pair of glasses, it made sense to pair it with extra gray Photofusion so that Sam, who is going to be the proud owner of these Porsche Design Aviators, has a great pair of driving glasses that are suitable for many different conditions. But it doesn't stop there, because you also have Photofusion Brown, which, when paired with this incredible Luca de Stael Stingray pair, which has just been ordered by Beth, you can have lenses that go from clear indoors to a lovely brown tone outdoors. And brown is one of my personal favourite lens colours for my sunglasses, because it provides actually even more contrast than the green tint, but a really warm view of things. Now the trade-off to that is it does distort colors. It will dampen blues and it will enhance reds and greens. But I personally like that. I like lenses that kind of transform the way that I see things. But you can see within a minute of activation with UV, these glasses have been completely transformed. And yes, they will look ridiculous on me because this is a very feminine style and it's very, very bright and exuberant and it's not my look at all, but they are a tremendously incredible pair of glasses. Luca de Stel frames are made from leather. In this case, you have Stingray leather on the outside, natural cow leather on the inside. The cow leather is super soft on the skin. And I've often said that Luca de Stel are arguably the best glasses in the world right now because they combine amazing luxury and style with incredible comfort and durability as well. And I don't see any other brand in the world that combines the two to the level that Luca de Stael does. So Beth, amazing choice. I think that is a perfect pairing because the brown coloration of the lenses really ties in with the brown cow leather on the inside and it just ties the whole style together. But we're gonna keep going because Photofusion has so many different color combinations. And the next one, these are for the same client who owns those Porsche Design Aviators. What a start to a collection this is, 
These have Photofusion X Blue with Flash Ruby. So what do I mean by that? Well, the tint is naturally blue, so you're going to see as the lens darkens that this frame now has a blue tint, but you'll also notice on top of that blue tint is kind of a red or pinkish hue, and that is caused by the Flash Ruby coating. So a flash coating is an extra layer that can be added to the tint to make the lenses reflect an extra color. So that beautiful combination of the red and the blue together creates a third colorway, which means that these lenses will look different than just a blue on its own or a different color with Flash Ruby combined. It's its own unique color. And what I love as well is how, again, that reflective red finish ties in with the red leather that's on the inside of this frame. Now, when you order Luca Distel glasses, you can customize them with any leather color or material of your choice. This one is actually stone on the outside with red cow leather on the inside. So Sam, what an amazing combination. Those two pairs together, just wow. And finally, Rekivikai is one of the most popular brands that I recommend. This is the new Elias, which has been coveted by so many people. So this is a different color of flash coating. And this shows how the lenses are indoors because you have that just hint of color indoors, which I think really completes them. Just wait and see how these glasses are transformed when we step out into the sun. A complete transformation and an amazing pair of sunglasses that are also clear glasses when you're indoors. And now hopefully you can see the almost perfect versatility that you get from Photofusion technology. These Reykjavik eyes frames, just the lightest, most comfortable glasses on the planet. It's as simple as that. And these glasses are for Paul. He actually visited, he made the journey from Thailand to see us. This in addition to his adaptive sun pair, which we'll get onto later, Again, an amazing pairing. But Photofusion can't do everything. As I mentioned, it doesn't activate fully behind the windshield of the car, issue number one. Issue number two is it doesn't quite get as dark as the world's darker sunglasses as we're about to cover. And number three, you're typically going to pick Photofusion in a frame that is gonna be small enough to wear daily. Now, in this case, you can see that pretty much all of these styles were moderately large, especially those Porsche design aviators. You know, they are literally a sunglass frame. So it's a good idea when you're choosing Photofusion lenses to think of a frame that's gonna look great as glasses and sunglasses. But naturally, if you were to pick a pair of dedicated sunglasses, you would probably pick an alternative style. So that leads me nicely onto adaptive sun. And I think we're gonna start with this pair for Dita, which is a green gradient adaptive sun lens paired with a beautiful matte black gassed frame. This model called the Gallet, and she's been waiting a little while for it because gas frames can be a little bit hard to get hold of at the moment, they're so popular, but what is adaptive sun? Well, it's a lens that starts off at a moderate tint. So if you're indoors, you can still see fine, albeit you will look like you've got tinted glasses on. If it's a cloudy day, you've got excellent visibility. But these lenses, when exposed to UV, will darken up to 97%, making them the darkest sunglasses in the world and therefore the most protective. They retain around about a 75% tint when driving, which I find to be ideal. But they will, of course, go darker when you step out of the car into the sun and they'll fade back to the lighter tint that you saw a moment ago when you need to go inside, for example, into a restaurant or into a shop. So you can see with probably less than 30 seconds exposure on each lens to UV, this is how dark the green adaptive sun goes. It's a full sunglass shade. In fact, it's more than a full sunglass shade. Most sunglasses that you would buy off the shelf would not be as dark as this when exposed to UV. And that's necessary because sunglasses that have a fixed tint have to kind of be suited to everything as much as possible. So that makes them a jack of all trades and a master of none. Adaptive sun is a master of all conditions. You can wear these sunglasses from dawn until dusk and they're excellent in all weather conditions. Adaptive sun comes in all of the colors that Photofusion comes in. So you've seen the green here. You also will have seen the blue that I started off wearing at the beginning of this video. This is my newest pair of glasses. Again, a gassed frame. This one in particular is the Mappy in crystal. I think it pairs beautifully with the blue adaptive sun gradient, but my pair have a amber flash coating as well. The rule with flash coatings is that the darker the base tint, the more prominent the flash coating will be. And that's the same with Photofusion when it goes from clear to dark. So you should now be seeing this beautiful gold aura that exudes from the frames. To me, that makes them look truly special, especially because of the gold metalwork that's on the inside of the crystal frame. Again, it just all ties it together and hopefully you're noticing a theme it's all about bringing together the style, pairing elements on the frame with elements on the lens to really create a very considered look. But Adaptive Sun doesn't have to be a gradient tint. And this is a pair that we made for a local customer, Nigel, who's actually one of our OGs. He's been coming to us for years and years and years. These have the solid Adaptive Sun blue. And yet again, this is maybe not my style of frame, 
but it's got a really futuristic vibe to it and it really suits him. And we created these with a wraparound effect. These frames originally were completely flat, but just to complete that really futuristic, almost sci-fi look, we went with a totally curved lens. So you have that full wraparound around the face. This is an industrial frame. These are great for people who like that kind of sportier look or that sportier feel with straight fitting arms. So again, I'm gonna show you the difference when exposed to UV. We'll keep the right lens clear, clear as adaptive suns go, and we'll just activate the left lens. And you should be able to see quite a significant difference, even within 15, 20 seconds of me talking. And that's the thing with Zeiss lenses, they activate incredibly fast. They're the fastest photochromic lenses in the world, and that applies to photofusion as well as adaptive sun. You see just how the lenses have altered based on the light conditions, and that makes adaptive sun super protective as a great pair of sunglasses that you don't have to keep taking on and off depending on the light conditions. Finally, back to Paul from Thailand. This completes his matching pair. We had the Elias and now the Cecil by Barton Ferreira. What a great combination of frames. We deliberately went for contrasting colors with the blue in the Reiki Vikai's Elias and the green pairing with that crystal, but finished with the ruby. Because this acetate that's made by Barton Pereira, who, by the way, make probably the best crystal frames in the world, is called Dusk, and it has that hint of rose to it. So we tied in the hint of rose on the frame with a hint of rose on the lens, and that's what the flash ruby coating is going to do. And again, I'm gonna show you right and left, the difference unactivated and activated. So this pair is gradient again, but with adaptive sun gradient lenses, when they activate in the sunlight, the whole lens will darken to give you maximum protection. So that tint is really radically changing depending on the light conditions. And hopefully you can see how the ruby flash coating is now shining out. And finally, you can get adaptive sun lenses also in gray. This pair is polarized and adaptive sun lenses can be made polarized as well. A lot of people prefer polarized because it reduces glare quite simply. And a polarized lens will block 99% of glare. Again, I'm going to show you it activated and deactivated. This one has the sapphire finish. You guessed it, tie in with the blue frame. You're probably starting to get the picture here. And this pair is for Michael in the US, who didn't visit us, but I styled him via video consultation. And here you can see the adaptive sun gray polarized inside or in low light conditions and outside in bright conditions. So that covers adaptive sun. So we've now ticked off two from our list, adaptive sun and photofusion, light reactive lenses, in a huge array of different tints. But I saved the best till last. No, really, I saved the best till last. You've probably noticed some of the incredible, amazing colors that are on this table, and that is what we're about to show you now. Because if you choose a pair that has a fixed tint all the time, the possibilities are absolutely endless. All of these tints that I'm about to show you now have been created bespoke for each customer, and at least half of them have probably never been done before for anybody else in the world, so they are one of a kind. Where to even start? I'm gonna show you Kevin from Belgium's, Luca Distel frames, which you will notice are the exact same model as Sam's. And this just shows how the same pair of glasses can be customized in different ways because this has a blue-gray 40% tint with, again, a ruby flash coating. I think the ruby is essential, but the tint behind it can be different. They both have their pros and cons. These are great for the comfort that they provide. And moderate tints are by far the most underutilized tints in the world. Most opticians will offer you photochromic lenses, probably not in the array of colors that I've showed you today, but They'll show you photochromic lenses and they might show you kind of gray, brown, green tints, like sunglass tints. But it's these moderate tints that, trust me, you need to add to your eyewear wardrobe. A tint like this just makes your eyes feel so much more relaxed. And in my opinion, at least, it adds extra cool factor to your glasses. It makes them look more considered and it makes you as an individual look more deliberate and therefore more confident. And to be honest, I feel more confident in my tinted glasses because I feel a little bit shielded from the world. For me, when I put on a pair of tinted glasses in whichever color it might be, I take on almost a different persona and tinted glasses can do that for you as well. So this is a blue gray 40% and what a blue tint will do is it will just provide a slightly calming, relaxing effect to the eyes. Blue is great for that. And green, as we've already established, gives a little bit more contrast, makes you feel it's kind of a mixture actually of feeling somewhat calm and relaxed, but also somewhat focused. It's a very versatile tint. So this pair, which is again for Michael in the US, is by JF Ray, it's from the Carbon Wood series. And we paired it with a green 25% gradient tint and sapphire flash coating. The acetate on this frame has some beautiful colors built into it. And I really wanted to exhibit those colors to their fullest extent while still providing Michael with a pair of glasses that he can wear every day and feel comfortable in. So not going too crazy. 
So whilst the Luca Distel pair we just looked at was 40% tint, this is simply 25% tint. And it's a very easy tint to wear. If you're shopping for your first ever pair of permanently tinted glasses, I'd probably suggest to go in at 25%. It's just that sweet spot where you really can't go wrong, but it definitely looks cool and it definitely adds style points to your glasses. But by comparison to what we're about to see, those tints are very tame. Well, I mentioned how Barton Pereira produce some of the best, if not the best, crystal frames in the world. This is another example. This is Richard's Joe by Barton Pereira, a beautiful crystal with the most sumptuous, most elegant, most luxurious looking tint. This is a unique amber coloration in a gradient tint, so it's lighter at the bottom, darker at the top, with amber flash coating. And the Joe without these lenses looks cool, but nowhere near as cool as this. What an amazing tint, and to my knowledge, the first time this tint combination has ever been done. Likewise, a one of a kind for Agnes. This is in the Panther de Cartier full rim ladies frames with the leaping panther down the sides of the arms combined with a purple and pink bi-gradient tint. So a bi-gradient tint is where we have one color at the top and a secondary color at the bottom and the two graduate together. Yes, that can be done and you can request any combination of bi-gradient tint. We've made lots of different versions for different clients all over the world. But for Agnes, I just think that purple and pink is a perfect combination with the frame. Cartier glasses are special. When you buy a pair of Cartier glasses, especially your first pair of Cartier glasses, it's a special moment. It's a landmark in your life. And only by adding the right tint does it make it truly personal to you. Anyone can go out and buy this frame. Anyone can go out and buy any Cartier frame, but they are truly, truly special when you pair them with a tint that is special to you. And that's what we did for Agnes. What an amazing choice and I can't wait for you to get this pair. Visually, by the way, pink is a very invigorating color. It makes you feel awake instantly. It's the same with tints on the red end of the spectrum. And we're gonna see that most of all with the Magma Orange, which we're about to get to. But whereas the Magma Orange is incredibly engaging, as we'll see, the pink is that little bit more restful. So it's a very comforting tint. And you hear people talking about rose tinted glasses. That is definitely a thing. Rose tinted glasses make everything look better. And that's what these glasses do. It's probably not a tint that you could wear all the time, but for special occasions or for changing your mood when you need a change of mood, when you want to feel happier, this is the ideal pair of glasses to wear. Now, similar in color scheme to pink is purple. And Sweet Violet is my personal favorite tint of all time. And it is the one that I would recommend to you. If you're asking me what tint should I get that I'm gonna appreciate the most, for most people, the answer is Sweet Violet because Sweet Violet provides the calming effect of the blue tints that we've looked at so far, but with much more natural color rendition. When you look through a Sweet Violet lens, you actually don't feel like you're looking through tinted glasses, but it makes everything look newer, fresher. I can wear it all day and feel just completely natural in it while still getting the beneficial effects of the tint itself. And again, Sweet Violet can be customized in a gradient that goes for any tint that we talk about. This pair is for Rahesh over in Curaçao and Unfortunately, these glasses are wrong. There's a mistake on them, which is that the shape is not quite right. But I think you'll agree that the tint is right. And to be honest, the shape works for this style, but it's just not the shape that it was supposed to be. So these are gonna have to be redone. But combined with this rimless silhouette frame, I think they look epic. And rimless frames with a tint are definitely a look. A lot of people wouldn't think to combine rimless frames, which are supposed to be extremely subtle and almost invisible with a tint that makes your glasses stand out a lot more. But the two juxtapose perfectly. I love rimless frames with a tint. It's one of my favorite things to recommend. And Rahesh, you are gonna absolutely love this pair when we get the shape right. Now, while Sweet Violet is my favorite tint, Magma Orange is the tint that has the most effect on me because this is the tint that I wear every single day for driving. Whether it's a short commute, whether it's a long commute, whatever the length of journey, and whatever the weather conditions, I wear Magma Orange to really improve my visibility. So this, I believe, is the world's best driving tint. It does three things. It improves your depth perception, it improves your contrast and your sharpness and your awareness of everything that's going on, and it blocks out the sun. Maybe not as much as a full pair of sunglasses, but in a way that's better because a lens that lets through more light gives you more visibility. If you drive, for example, into the shade, if you drive under a bridge, you can still see really well with the Magma Orange lens. Whereas with a full sunglass lens, you might start to struggle. So Magma Orange is incredibly versatile and gives you the best vision for driving. It's as simple as that. But I've also found along the way that Magma Orange is a beautiful tint to wear out walking. 
because it really makes everything look brighter and sunnier. The dash and the magma orange were made for each other in this colorway with the gold detailing. I know Deep, who's ordered these over in Singapore, I think. This is gonna be an amazing addition to your collection. And with that, I think we're pretty much done. I've showcased for you today the most incredible, amazing array of tinted glasses, I think perhaps ever assembled for people all over the world. And I just wanna to say to all those people whose glasses I've featured in today's video, thank you so much. It really means genuinely the world to me to make glasses for you. Seeing all this together, it really puts everything in perspective. It reminds me what I'm working for because these are real glasses for real people where it's really gonna have an effect on your life. And I just hope when you get your glasses that you all absolutely love them. But if you've been watching this video and you've enjoyed it, give us a like. If you have any questions about anything that we've covered in today's video, make sure you leave a comment. And if your glasses were in this video, you better be in those comments. And if you want to be part of an amazing eyewear community, make sure to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.